accessing your credentials from one password, you would need to provide a username and a password. This isn't ideal in an automated scenario, as a username and password would give access to all your vaults and all your secrets, rather than just the secrets needed by your automated tools. One password service accounts are ideal for shared environments because they provide an authentication method to one password that isn't associated with an individual like a username and password would be and allows for you to limit the scope of access in case your credentials ever get compromised. Service accounts can be used anywhere that you can run our one password command line tool. We have published many integrations that leverage the use of service accounts, but for this demo, I'll show you how to create and use a service account directly with the one password CLI. First, we'll head on over to the one password web app, click on integrations, then directory, and then look for the infrastructure secrets management section. Because we're creating this surface account for the CLI, we're going to select other here. And we're going to select surface account. Next, we'll name our surface account. Let's give it a descriptive name for what it's going to be used for. I've chosen CLI. Click next. From here, we can choose what vaults our service account should have access to. I'm going to choose the dev vault with read access. We'll go ahead and create the account. From here, we can either copy the token directly to where we need it, or we can store it securely in 1Password. For this example, I'll be copying the credential into the CLI. Now to use this service account with our CLI tool, I'll need to set the credential to an environment variable called op service account token. From here, I can start using the CLI with a number of different commands. For example, we can use the op read command to return secrets from 1Password. So we can write op read. Then we can head over to the 1Password app, find the item we want to get our secret from. So from here, I'm going to go for my Docker secret, find the field we care about, and we can select copy secret reference. We can then paste this as part of our command. And we get the secret, my super secret password. We can also use this command in scripts or as part of a larger command. For example, I can log into Docker by replacing my username and password with the secret reference to these values of 1Password. So if I enter this command in, it will log me into Docker using those credentials. There are many other commands and ways you can use service accounts in the 1Password CLI, so please check out our documentation for more details.